Guys, it is December 11th. I'm out here on Norris Lake. Guys, this is the time to be tight lining. Look at that. Heck yeah. Thank you, Brad Burkhart, for teaching me that. Big boy, you're going to win tournaments one day. Lake today. I've been coming here and to Cherokee Lake past few days over my winter break. Guys, right now, tight line is one of the best things you can do to catch fish. Brad Burkhart taught me how to do it a few years ago, and I've been fortunate enough to be able to teach a few other people as well. And now I'm going to kind of go into a little bit more detail of exactly how tight line works. You need to have a good seven foot medium heavy spinning rod. I've got a Pinnacle Perfecta. Always use six pound fluorocarbon line. I've got Seaguar Red Label on there. Then you want to have you about a 1 8 ounce lead head. And now there's a special knot you need to tie in order to make this tight line stuff work. It's going to start off like a basic polymer knot. Take it through and bring it back. Bring them both up to one hand. And now two fingers. Grab the, grab the lure with the fingers you've got your line already and wrap it once twice and three times now bring it back around the uh, lure and hold try to hold your line up against the uh, against the against the head of the lure and just start to start to cinch the line down now that one's not going to be perfect but in the end You'll have a tag in and a loop in. You'll cut those off. And what you're going to have in the end, and now it shouldn't be that long, that was just my fault, but you're going to have a, knot, a very tight knot up there, and you're going to have plenty of space between the knot and the lure to give it better action. And then for the, top, for the actual lure, I always use two and a half inch Berkeley Gulp minnows. And now as far as where do you fish this thing, well, you, you have to wait until the water gets down to about the mid 50. That's when it's gonna start working the best. And I always fish them off chunk rock banks like we can see in the background, because those tend to be the best banks for where smallmouth are living this time of year. I've tried it on pea gravel banks, not, not, so, not so good there for me. Others have, may have success, but not me in particular. Uh, this can be done uh, really from about December all the way up into March, April. Some people have even done it all the way up to June and still had success. But right now, if you want to catch a small enough, you need to be a tight line. You can do it from a bass boat, kayak, it don't matter. I've done it both. Without further ado, here's the rest of the footage kind of explaining to you how, uh, how the technique works. When you're uh, fishing with it, uh, you want to kind of keep your rod pointed up and you want to keep a, not a real fast retrieve, but a kind of a constant retrieve and be shaking your rod the whole time giving that lure a lot of action and keeping your line tight because whenever a smallmouth bites it you're going to be able to tell it. Alright, so that should be all you need to know and here's some more of the footage. Got one. 
Yeah, but it's still small. Though.